Hi, Wendy here at the Denver Museum of Miniatures, Dolls, and Toys, and today we're going to talk 80s toys. So the 1980s are known as a period of mass consumption and manufacturing, branded marketing. Um, you really see things like uh, fast food toys taking off. You see tie-in toys. So not only would you have Garfield, you'd have the comics, and you'd have the TV shows and series. Um, and this is one of the chipmunks as well. Um, and that really took off in the 80s, but there are lots of little trends in the 80s that I thought would be fun to explore. So the first one I'm going to do is these amazing charm necklaces. Um, these came out kind of 1985. They were made by the Imperial Company. Um, you can see it's a plastic chain and plastic charms. They're frequently referred to as bell charm necklaces. Um, there's also a series called the Boogie Oogie necklaces that I think might be a different company. They have a different style chain from what I can tell online, but I actually couldn't find a ton of information on these. So if you have a good, you know, in-depth history, please let me know. Um, as we take a look at the charms, you can see there was kind of levels like this one. That's just a shape. Um, but then we have uh, some nautical things more fun step up not only is it a solid plastic but it has googly eyes things like whistles um, you've got characters multicolored plastic this blue frying pan with a blue egg with the red yolk is pretty wild there's also this super cool I think it's a jeep let's see if I can get it um, and um, this was a popular barrette style. I think they might still make it um, that you could just get at um, your local um, store. We also have this cool belt. I mean, these were big. They weren't super expensive. You would try to collect a ton. A lot of schools would ban them. Let's do a little rotation here so you can see some more. This was like a precious moment style yellow googly eyed guy and a tennis racket, a Campbell kid, a guitar, an airplane, um, a digger, and then I think this is actually kind of wild. This is looks like a double unicorn, two horns, um, and a cutie style doll, um, and a kind of upsetting clown, um, and either a computer or a TV, hard to say. Um, but every, they would make everything. There was lots of branded ones. So you'd see Coca-Cola cans or Bubblicious or Cracker Jacks. And those were really covetable, the tiny food, um, which you know we love here at this museum. They were made by the Imperial Company. And I'm really finding a lot of people who remember these are between the ages of sort of late 30s to mid to late 40s now. Um, they were mainly marketed towards girls. There's lots of stories about teachers hating having them on um, school grounds because people would want to trade them and, you know, trading and all that stuff can get pretty vicious and also really loud. This one doesn't have many, but you could see if you had a whole classroom of kids fidgeting, that could get a little really distracting. So. Let me know if you had one of these, if you remember these, if you have another favorite 80s toy. I'm going to be working on a series here for the next, I don't know, few months of uh, 2021. So enjoy these last minutes, hours of 2020, and let me know what your favorite 80s memory is.